Oh man. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Man, I had plans to go ride today. I woke up a little bit earlier in the day. It's a Sunday. Um, it wasn't raining at all this morning, but it was a little bit colder. And I was like, okay, it's gonna be almost 60 degrees out and uh, I'm gonna go ride my bike. And then this happened. So yeah, cloud coverage until tomorrow afternoon at some point. So no riding. <laughs> I actually got in the truck and uh, was headed to the skate park to go ride. And I was like, dude, this is so dumb. Like, I'm gonna get there, even though there's no rain until like one, two o'clock in the morning. It's there's no freaking sun out. It's it's not gonna be clear enough for me to ride. So, anyways, here I am. Uh, welcome back, guys, to the channel. So today I'm gonna do something kind of crazy, something that is giving me excuse to do today because I really wanted to go ride and I can't. And that is install side markers on my carbon fiber fenders here. I'm kind of concerned about doing this, to be honest with you guys, because these fenders didn't come cut at all. There's no holes for it. And I'm just going to be going by pictures on the internet. But the reason why I want to install them is because I'm pretty sure it's illegal to not have side markers in a car. But yeah, I've been putting this off for about five or six years now. I don't even know how long it's been since I had these fenders, but I just didn't want them cut them originally, man. I was like, ah, it looks good without it. And it does, but, and I've never really been pulled over. I don't think I will, but I really do need to have these side markers installed in the car. So I all I can do is go by the photos online. I have no idea how accurate or inaccurate. I'm concerned if I make it too big or too small. I don't have no idea how I'm gonna get this done, but I've got these depots. These are the smoked version of the factory ones. The factory ones are like a clear color, kind of like the factory taillights are. And I have those as well, but I think it's gonna look a lot better with the black one right there. And it's gonna be a lot more subtle but you know, I'm also gonna be legal. I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't quote me on that, but I think it is. I think you're required to have these things in the car. But even if it isn't, like it's just smart to have anyways, because yeah, I have side markers technically set up with the headlights, so it's kind of on the corner, but this is an added safety feature essentially. So I don't know if this is even gonna be a vlog, but I'm kind of worried to do this, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways and hope I don't mess up $900 fenders. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be installing it here. I've seen some people install it at the top here, which I don't like. The only reason I'm going to install it here and not up here is because one, I think it looks kind of silly up there. And two, if I do mess up, I can actually do something with this area. I can fill it back in right here and then I can repaint it like maybe a different color or I can do something in this specific area and it won't mess up the rest of the fender. So. We're gonna be focusing on this area. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install some tape. I'm gonna make a like a template for myself for the size of this thing, and then Dremel and drill it and hope for the best and hope I don't crack the fender. I hope I just hope I don't mess anything up, man. Honestly, but um, yeah, <laughs> no risk, no reward. Let's do it. The well, first thing we're gonna do is tape up this whole little area, specifically where I'm actually gonna put it, because I think I'm gonna put it somewhere around here. The really annoying thing about these fenders that I purchased, they did not have any holes cut out at all. I didn't have any issues drilling the other holes for like mounting the fender and everything, just cause I wasn't too concerned about it, man. Honestly, I thought it was, you know, if I mess something up, which I technically did, I cut a hole too short on one side, then you won't notice it. But if I mess this up right here, you're gonna notice it, man. You're gonna notice it pretty quickly. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna tape it up several times just so it doesn't splinter out or like little fibers come out or anything like that. I just want to make sure it's nice and protected. And then I'm going to lift the car up. All right, so the car is jacked up now. Gives me plenty of room here to stick my hands in. I can bring the fender liner down. Yes, I still use a fender liner. Uh, just because I've used it without fender liners before and it just does not look good, man. And then I need to find the cable. There it is. And I need to make sure that this even works before I even go through all the trouble. I don't know which side is which, if that's even a thing. I haven't used these in uh, in a very long time. But yeah, that's also why the uh, fender liner is in here, so it can protect these things. Like, there's all sorts of important stuff underneath this fender liner that's uh, that you don't see. 
There you go. Yeah, I feel a lot better about having something like that on there for sure, man. All right, so here's how this works. So this is actually not a perfect oval. It's actually thinner on this side of it, which actually has the writing. So that thinner part is gonna be facing forward on the car from all the pictures I've seen. Um, that's how it goes. So if you look on the back of this thing, it kind of gives you the shape that you need. So it's not a perfectly round circle, unfortunately, because uh, it obviously it needs to stay one specific direction. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this with a tape measure here, kind of get a rough idea of how thick it needs to be on this end, how thick it needs to be on that end, and then make a rough template on there and then make it smaller than it actually is right here. That way when I cut it and it's too small, then I can just keep going and then make increment corrections on it. So that way I don't make one too big and then it just flaps around on the inside of the, or even on the outside of the fender here. So I'm kind of stumbling my words a little bit cause I'm really nervous to do this guys. Like seriously, this is like $900. And if I mess one up, it's gonna be really bad. But I think if I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and place it where it needs to be in the car measure it out and then kind of go for it and then so you guys can see in case because i think i've seen somebody ask this on one of the evil forms the guy just went for it never posted pictures or anything about it this was like 12 years ago so yeah i'm gonna go for it and uh hopefully you guys find this video helpful we'll see um i'll have measurements here for everything so you can kind of gauge it if you decide to do this thing on your own i wish the stupid fenders came cut already man dang okay Thinking right there is where that's gonna go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of draw a rough line. Just kind of like that, and then kind of here in the bottom. All right, so that's kind of where I wanna go. So what the plan is, is essentially the shape is gonna be kind of like this, and then a cut, and then like that, and then kind of like that. So this front part's gonna be a little bit thinner than the back. I measured about an inch on its thickest point, and then about half inch on this end. And then about two inches going this way. So this is about as close as I think I'll get to this. So it's about half right there. It looks kind of rough, but I have an idea of how I want it to look. So it's gonna be kind of like that. And then right here. So it's not gonna be too big. So about an inch, maybe a little bit less than an inch at the moment. But like I said, I wanna make sure I don't do it too big and then I mess it up. So I think I'm okay with that. We're gonna go and give that a shot and hope for the freaking best. Of course, I'm gonna get a measurement. It's about an inch and a half, 1.5 inches from the top. That way I can do the exact same thing on the other side. And the hole's gonna be about two and a quarter, 2.25 inches from that end. Oh man, oh, oh my God, okay. Here we go. Oh, there's the hole. Oh my God, it smells like it's burning. There it is. Oh my God. I probably shouldn't be breathing this in. I should wear a mask. All right, so I've done it. So it looks like we can get one, if I get clear off this top and bottom just a little bit right here, it's gonna go in. Whoa, that's why I have that. That's why I have tape up there, because I just skipped. <laughs> oh my God. This is so sketchy, dude. Nope, still not long enough. I think I have to go a little bit further in this side. I got it. Oh my God. That looks freaking good, dude. Holy crap. Dude, check it out. That's perfect, man. That is a success. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off and I hope that I didn't crack any of the carbon fiber, like the clear coat or anything like that. But dude, that's solid right there. Okay, let's take it off and hope for the best. The only concerning part is that it's not wanting to clip, but we'll take care of that here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this just to see the hole. Yeah, it's a little funky right there. But no, aside from that, it looks good, man. I didn't mess up too bad. I think I'm gonna file that just a little bit right there, 
just so I know that it clips into place. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off because I feel pretty confident. No, I'm gonna put it back on because I'm not that confident. Yeah, see, I think I went too far here and made it way too thin and it started cracking. So I'm gonna go ahead before I put anything on there, uh, put some glue right here. Yep, some sort of glue because I don't like that. All right, let's check it out. Dude, that blended in so perfectly with this one. That looks freaking sick, man. Dude, heck yeah. I am super, super happy with that. I was super nervous about it, but I think now that I have one side done, I can go ahead and knock out the other side, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm actually running out of daylight. So I think what I'm gonna do is at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and leave like a kind of like a template guide sort of thing to how big I actually made the hole and where on the fender I made. If you end up getting fenders like this, these are like 10 millimeters wider than normal and they've got the vent on the side and all that. So I'll leave those measurements at the end of this video so you can kind of, you know, pause it and look at it. I have one side done, the other side's gonna be a piece of cake, so. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out, glue that little piece on just in case the carbon fiber decides to tear some more. And um, I'll use some sort of, I don't even know, some sort of Gorilla Glue or something in here. That way um, it doesn't continue on with any cracking because it could potentially crack and then you'll see it. I don't want that to happen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, the next video on this Evo, I think I'm going to be installing an underglow kit. Um, one that I found on Amazon. And only because I have a project that's coming up soon that I want to do. And I think it's going to look super sick with some underglow because it's going to be filmed at night. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that project. That's It's going to be coming soon, I promise you guys. Yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up, do the other side, and I'll have an update when I have the other side done in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Peace.